everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood makeup artist here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to get the glam that I wear in most of my videos. I've been seeing some requests to do another makeup tutorial. It has been quite some time, so I am excited to be here and sharing this with you guys. This is kind of my normal routine when I'm filming a video, so it's a lot of the products that I really love to use. It's the shapes and methods that I use pretty much every time, so if you've been curious, I'm here to tell you about it. <laughs> I'm gonna assume I look a lot different than I did in the last clip, yeah? Of course we're starting total bare face and building from there. The first step for me are primers. Zzz. I'm first gonna do my eye primer. This is the OG, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I also put it under my eyes because I have a lot of under eye wrinkles. I like to do my eye primer first because I find if I go in and put it on after my foundation and stuff, uh, it moves things around, especially in here. After I've got the concealer all set, I don't want to go in there smudging it around and messing it up. I'm just going to get it done first. And then I've been doing two layers of face primer. It's excessive, but it looks so good. <laughs> Layer number one is the Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. And that goes around my nose, the center of my forehead, and my mouth and chin area. This primer makes my skin very soft, but I also find that my makeup doesn't clog my pores as much when I use it. And then next, I have found the most blurring primer in the world, and that is the Winky Lux Whipped Cream Primer. And that also goes over my T-zone and my mouth and chin. Is this overkill? Yeah, absolutely. freaking -lutely. Do I need this much? No. <laughs> Will I still do it? Yeah. <laughs> And now we can start covering things up. <laughs> so my new love of life is the, uh, what, what, pulled the sticker off of it. It was starting to come off, so I ripped it the rest of the way off, and now I don't have reference for the name. Great. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Wear, I believe, their newest foundation. It is also bomb. I love the coverage, I love the finish, I love the lasting power. Okay, let's blendy, blendy, blendy. <laughs> So that's the coverage that I get from the foundation. I don't know how much the camera's gonna pick it up, but you can still see a lot of my skin through here. So you can still see some pinkness uh, around my T-zone. You can still see some blemishes poking through. That's the amount of coverage I like on my foundation. I like it to mostly get things there. I like 70 to 80%. And then I like to go in with my concealer because if you go in with 100% coverage all over, it just, it doesn't look real. Not that any of this is gonna look really real by the time I'm done, but you know, it has to be feasible. So I've been obsessed with the Jeffree Star concealer. This is like one of the first things I ever bought from his line. But another concealer that I really super love and I use often as well is the same concealer that goes with that L'Oreal foundation. So if you want something that's easier to grab, a little less expensive, and maybe not Jeffree Star, <laughs> you could do that. So here we go. Triangles under the eyes, a little bit down the center of the nose, little chin, and then blemishes. Boop, boop, boop. Oh yes. <laughs> Normally I start with my under eyes, but let's try something different today. I'm gonna start with my nose. Now chin, pouncing, dabbing, whatever. I like to tap the product into place. Just because I think once you start making circular motions, especially if you want it to be in a specific area, you can kind of move it a little too much and a little too far. And now the under eyes. So I like to kind of diffuse and blend out the outsides of the triangle and then just bounce over the stuff that's closest to my inner corner to keep it at the most pigmentation it can be. And now we set. I really love the Milk Blurin set and the Jeffree Star powder. Uh, I brought the Jeffree Star one out today, so that's what we're using. Roll and tap. Roll the eyes, tap the powder. And now we just boof everything else in. Now that I am full ghost, let's put some color back in. <laughs> I've been obsessed with the Smashbox palette. This is the Cali Contour palette. So I'm gonna take some of the contour and then I always kind of tap in the bronzer a little bit because the contour is a little bit cool for me. My skin is very yellow, so I always have to warm it up just a little bit. I feel like every day with the contouring, it's a, um, it's just a prayer and a hope, really. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna blend so it doesn't look like a racing stripe and repeat that on the other side. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know why I do my own sound effects. <laughs> I feel like I actually, I really like my cheekbones. I just think once I go in with all the 
foundation, you lose them. So you gotta put them back. And now, because my forehead goes for miles, we're just gonna put a little bronzer up here. I'm not shading myself, figuratively. Though literally, I am shading myself. I feel like makeup tutorials are now where you like talk about your life, you know? It's not so much like makeup tips and tricks anymore. What should I talk about with my life? So life has been good. <laughs> I really enjoyed my trip to LA. If you're not following me on Instagram, you probably didn't know I went to LA. But I really enjoyed going back and seeing friends and just revisiting a lot of my favorite restaurants and the city and remembering that like it's still there. I can still visit. My moving away from LA calendar kind of got sped up. What I kind of knew at the time and have definitely learned since is that grief literally becomes a line item in your schedule. It literally becomes part of your to-do list. And it feels weird to say that. Doing my nose contour where I'm talking about this is really, really gutsy right now. You know, and I don't think in LA I had the space to do that. I think I literally, to make room for the new line item in my schedule, I needed to simplify. And part of that was just moving to a place where everything's a little easier, a little slower. I had my family and all that kind of stuff that could help me and my sister who could work for me and do a super good job at it. Like all of those things were beyond worth it. So even though it kind of sped up my leaving LA timeline, I'm not, I, I don't regret it for a second. I definitely need to keep visiting LA because I do love it. It holds a huge place in my heart. It's just, it's not my forever, you know? Alrighty. Well, there's all the contour. <laughs> a drugstore blush that I love is the Milani Luminoso blush. It's great, it's peachy, it's shimmery, it's pretty, it's corally. It's a really good summertime blush. My blush literally just goes right here, where the brush is, right there. <laughs> Why? I don't know, it looks good. <laughs> so overall, I've been really happy with the move. I feel so much more capable these days. I mean, it doesn't mean that I don't have my bad days, they are there and they are real, but I think if you take the average of all my days, it's so much better. Um, okay, now I'm gonna do some highlight. This is not the one that I've been using most. Um, I will link the ones below. I have a Fenty one and the Becca one that I love, but let's do some more drugstore. This is their loose highlighter in the color I'm So Lit. And what I do is I put my highlight where my cheekbone protrudes the most to accentuate my natural bone structure. And I put that basically over the length of it, from here back to about here, in a more diffused internal glow fashion. Then I dip in one more time and I focus it right here, partially so that the glow is beautiful and blinding, but again, a little bit realistic. <laughs> it's about that much realistic. You know what's funny? Normally this cheek is the spotty one and this one blends easily. They have switched today. <laughs> Fluffy brush to the rescue. Do I need to touch my face like this to do this? Probably not. And we're gonna do it anyway? Absolutely. Okay, now for the eyes. So I have a pretty standard operating procedure when it comes to eyes. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite eyeshadows that I have right now but you can replicate this with any colors that you have that are similar. So the first thing I like to do is kind of a transition color in my crease, basically something that looks like a very warm bronzer for me, which is gonna be this one. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette, and I love this. And we're just gonna take a fluffy brush and focus that in the crease and you know keep blending it in a little. I do also have to say I'm very excited about uh, my channel. I'm excited that I've been able to upload consistently, and that has, not happened in a very long time on my channel. I think part of it was that I was literally doing everything by myself and the amount of stuff that has to happen for a video to go up every week is more than I can do by myself. So having a helper has gone a long way. I think also like having my sister working with me, like we're similar, she's able to kind of keep me going when I don't feel like doing anything. Just to kind of like have a cheerleader in your corner because I don't really know that I've had that and it goes a long way. All right, that's that's the transition shade. It's time for a deeper crease color. Um, if I was just using this palette, I would mix these two together, but I also wanna highlight the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. This is my favorite of the Naked palettes. I said it, uh, but I'm gonna use Bucked for my deeper crease color here. Also, um, Urban Decay, if you wanna put me back on your PR list, I'd super appreciate it. I don't know what happened after I moved, I stopped receiving my Urban Decay PR, which is like fine. I'm not entitled to anything. 
I just like, I think it shows how much I love the brand that I keep buying the stuff that they come out with even after I'm not on the list. I meant to zoom you in, I'm sorry. There we go, can you see what I'm doing now? So that's just going in the innermost part and because we already set up the transition color, edges of this brown shade are really pretty and diffused and warm. Whereas sometimes when you go in with a darker brown in the crease with nothing else there, it can look a little bit ashy or muddy. So I really, really love transition shades. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna go in with the blur shade and put that underneath my eyebrow. Basically, you just want anything that kind of mimics your skin tone or a little bit lighter and buff that in. Maybe it's natural, maybe it's urban decay. Who needs to tweeze her brows? This girl needs to tweeze her brows. Am I gonna do it while I'm filming this video? Nope. Now for the lid. My typical thing recently has been to shade with a matte brown on the outside of my eye, because I kind of like to pull my eyes a little bit this way. So I'm gonna do a little matte here, a little shimmer here, basically all of this inner third, then a little bit of spotlight. I'm gonna go in with that same Natasha Denona transition shade. This is where I use kind of a bronze shimmer typically, but I think I wanna go a little bit lighter today. I'm gonna to use the Barely Baked shade. I'm gonna go over it with just the tiniest dusting of this brown shimmery shade and hope that's not too dark. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. And now the final thing to do is add spotlight. Or you could also call it halo winged eye, but I call it a spotlight, so. You're gonna want a small brush. Um, I'm using this one that I've had um, for way too long of a time. I don't even know where they're from, but it's just got little tiny fluffiness at the end. A pencil brush would also work. That's typically what I use, but all of my brushes are dirty, so. And I have done this look with Angel Fire from the Naked Reloaded palette, but today I'm gonna use some highlight. I'm gonna put it right on the center of my lid. Holy goodness, that's bright. Yeah, that's a little too white. Whoops. All right, well, I have to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, thanks for throwing that curveball at me, dude. Thank you so much. But let's try the shimmery shade from the Natasha Denona palette. Perfect, that works. And then I'm going to add that to my inner corners. I'm gonna jump to brows really quick because I'm doing both a primer and a gel on them. So I'm gonna do primer, mascara, then gel. So it has like a chance to dry in between. So I'm also using this Urban Decay Brow Endowed Eyebrow Gel. So I'm just gonna go in and use this to coat and tame the hairs. I made my eyebrows smaller for my Sansa video and it's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Cause I was going back and looking through some of my videos from the past couple months in preparation for making this makeup look. And I was like, dude, there was a stage there where my brows were giant. They needed some help. Somebody needed to pose a brow intervention. Thankfully, Sansa Stark came through with her skinny brows and I tweezed my brows so that I would look more like her. Ended up looking like Cersei. But at least it broke my giant brow habit. Okay, and now for mascara, I have the Collab Mascara from Sally's. I bought it because Tati talked about it, but she likes the pink one. I like the blue one. We actually had a conversation about this. She was saying that the she likes the pink one because it's uh, easier to remove. And I dislike the pink one because it's too easy to remove. <laughs> Alrighty then. And now before I put on my brow gel, I'm going to fill in my brows. And I have really been liking the Urban Decay brow blade, but I also really love the uh, Ardell Stroka brow. It's a very similar concept and it's a lot less expensive and available at Sally's if you're interested. The brow blade from Urban Decay has a normal very slim pencil on the one side and then a little ink pen on the other and this is my favorite because I go through here and I draw in the five to seven hairs that I wish I had right here and then I have a scar through this eyebrow so I fill in where the scar has kind of messed up my hair growth. And then I look and see what I feel like I need for the day. <laughs> I want to smooth out this. All right, for once, my right eyebrow was the good eyebrow. Okay, and now um, I don't actually have the right color of the brow endowed. Because I don't have the right color of the gel, I use my Anastasia um, dip brow. Oh, the brows are done, I can breathe. 
I'm keeping it dark because I do like a bold brow, but I'm going with a little bit more shapely and I want you to be able to see the individual brow hairs. I don't want it to be a full block. So this is my current routine for that. When I do my lips, I often use either the Bite Beauty 36 lip pencil, which is discontinued and I am forever angry about it, or the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk pencil. I also have slightly uneven lips. I have a scar right here and a scar right here. And so I like to try to make them look more even. And then I think this one is still available. This is the Maybelline Daringly Nude Matte Lipstick. I have clearly very much really loved this. This is all that's left. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be back for the reveal, even though it's right here. You can see my face. <laughs> and there you go. That is my makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. This was really fun to film. I have worn a couple other makeup looks recently that you guys were requesting. So if you want to see more makeup, let me know by hitting the like button or leaving a comment down below. And uh, I will take that into consideration because I would love to do this more. I think it's super, super fun and a great little like Wednesday video add on. <laughs> but that's it for today. Whether you were old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye. Blend, 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 blend. Boopa doopa 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 doopa. Talik the house. I don't know what the house means, but I've heard people saying it. Uh, my entire life is just hello, fellow youths. And I chiseled today, lady. Whoa. I think I'm gonna go in with this. Boop, boop.